Good morning, crafty peeps. I hope you enjoy our second November Craftology Box tutorial. Again, we used Simple Stories Very Merry. And Very Merry it is. It's the cutest paper collection. So let me start off with this little wall um, design here. Um, what I call wall decor. Um, I got this idea from Marcy Villanueva. Thank you so much, girly. I love it, love it, love it. Um, there are a couple things that I used that were not part of the Craftology box, okay? And I'm going to go through that here. This is a poinsettia die. Tamara has it available in her store. It's the Tim Holtz, and it's under punches and dies, okay? And then here is this little green tinsel, um, which you can find it in the Make It Merry section at Hobby Lobby or possibly Michael's as well. I'm not really sure, but I got mine at um, Hobby Lobby. And then this little snowflake right here um, was from Hobby Lobby as well. It was an ornament that I kind of cut in half and just used half of it. Um, so the back side on here is little um, fairy lights that I got from the Dollar Tree. Yes, they were only a dollar. You can possibly find them in the hardware section. Um, that's where I found mine. So hopefully that helps. And then again, for the add-on kit, I used these little chipboard um, pieces, the little snowman, the little pine cones, and the Merry Christmas. And I just love how this turned out. Um, when I saw Marcy's, I was like, oh my gosh, girl, I'm totally going to steal this idea. And so I've made a tutorial for you. Um, another thing you'll probably need is a thin piece of chipboard, or you could use heavy-duty cardstock. So... Um, underneath your um, decorative paper. So I hope you all enjoy the tutorial, guys. And don't forget, sign up for December's Craftology Box now, and you won't miss out. Okay? Bye, y'all. So let's go ahead and get started on our tutorial. Um, for this, we are going to be making a little wooden banner sign, and I'm hoping that it's going to turn out really cute. Um, so basically you're going to need a 12 by 12 um, thin sheet of chipboard from Tamara's store or you could use your own or um, you could also use heavy cardstock if you'd like to. Anyway, so you're going to eight strips at one inch by seven inches, okay? I mean seven and a half, sorry. One inch by seven and a half. So two of them, you're going to leave basically straight as you normally would. And then these, I use my rounded punch. Um, I use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers punch board, but if you have a round punch, you could use that as well. Um, I do know that Tamara also sells the We Are Memory Keepers um, rounded edge punch in her store. So... If you don't have one and you're wanting to get one, she has them available. Then you're going to need two strips that are one inch by six inches. I went ahead and distressed the edges of them a brown color. So I'm using the Color Philosophy Sepia that Tamara also sells in her store. Um, so basically, I just did that. Then I used my Snowflake with the stars, a uh, piece of paper from Simple Stories. And I made, um, again, eight strips um, and six of them were rounded, okay? So I did the same measurement. Again, that is seven and a half by one inch, two at one by six inch, and then of course, the two that I left straight. So that would be out of your eight. So um, anyway, we'll go ahead and get started with this. This is going to be super easy. Okay. All you need is your art glitter glue or anything you want to use to glue this together. First thing I'm going to do is basically attach my paper to my strips. And I need to refill my glue. So I'll be right back. Okay, I refilled my glue and I'm going to go quiet now and I will come back on if I need to say anything. So.
Okay, so using my scoreboard, I am go and I've ar already lined these up in the order that I want them in. I'm just going to put these over to the side, okay? And then I have my two smaller six inch ones here, okay? And so I know that this little white line down here is where I want um, my little piece to begin. And I'm actually going to go have it hang over a little bit over this because I like the look. Um, sorry, there's my little white line. Uh, I think I need to move this up just a tad. And I'm going to go with this white line as well. And then now I know where to place my little dealy doos, my little sticks. So I'm just going to hold this in place and apply some glue here and here as well. And I'm going to line this baby up. I'm going to try to keep it straight. I have my little white line as my guide down here. And I have all of these lines as my guides as well to keep everything straight. Then I'm just going to press down. Okay. And then I'm going to use my little perfect trim ruler, although you may have something else, um, as my divider. And I'm just going to keep on adding these on. And using my glue until I'm completely lined up. Again, still using that white line down there at the bottom as my guide. Push this down just a little bit and back it back into place. Okay. Then I'm just gonna keep on going. Okay, so I'm going to have three and three quarters as my center. So what I'm going to do is grab a pencil just so that I can remember that. And I'm going to mark it just right about there. I'm going to be covering this up so it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is, and this is probably the easiest way to do it, I'm going to turn this this way again. And what I want to do is line up this edge with my little center. I can see my little dot there, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and hold my finger on it and then I'm going to glue it down. Then I'm going to use my trimmer or my scissors to cut off the excess, okay? Let me get out my extra little old trimming thing. Oops, let me get off my excess glue. And I'm just going to trim off that little piece there, okay? So now it's or you could use your scissors as well. Okay.
At least the scissors help it out there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue on my last piece. And again, I'm going to line it up with that end piece there. And it's kind of however you feel like your stick works better. See how I have it lined up to that corner, corner to corner. And I'm going to glue that down. Burnish it in, wipe off any excess glue that you don't want hanging on there. And here we go again. Burnish that in. What I want to do is make sure that I have this end covered up. Okay. And wipe off my excess glue. Personally, I prefer the paper trimmer just to get it started. Just let me move it just. It was a little too thick. I guess it wasn't going to let me do it this time. But there we go. So now we have our scents, okay? And so here at this point, you can decide how you want to decorate it. Do you want to use brads here um, and here or all along up here? It's just however you want to do it. Also, I am going to make some holes to add a string to this so that I can hang it up. And I will be using, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or this one, but I think it's going to be this red bow one. I don't know, the red and white, shall I say. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, definitely it's going to be the red and white. Okay. So I will be back with those measurements. I'm also thinking I want to add some little fairy lights to this. And they are the fairy lights that I mentioned before that I've gotten at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to see how I can incorporate that into here. And then I will be back. Okay, so there's a couple things I wanted to let you know that I did with this, okay? So I went ahead and used my We Are Memories Keeper and I punched two holes right here at the top. I just kind of centered them. And then of course I just added my ribbon here. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Um, and then I decided to kind of kick this up a notch. So at the Dollar Tree, they have these little lights, and um, they're like fairy lights. So I'm going to show you what I did here. Isn't that cute? So basically, you're just going to take a pokey tool, okay? Or you could use like a nail or something like that, or you could use your We Are Memories Keeper. Of course, since I thought of this after the fact, um, I end up using my punch tool to poke some of these out. Now, I wanted to keep my lights. Um, away from where I was going to be using my design. Now, Tamara, in her store, she has the Tim Holtz poinsettia die. Now, um, this is not the poinsettia die. I just wanted to let you know because I don't want you to think, oh, I'm scamming you, you know, or whatever. But she does have that die. It's the Tim Holtz one. And it's super duper cute. Okay. And so, basically, I just made a couple poinsettias. Um, I decided to use my chipboard snowman. I'm going to use some of these little pine cones that are also part of the chipboard and my Merry Christmas. Now I am going to put some pop dots up on the back of this to lift it up so that it doesn't kind of like blend in too much. And I mean, how cute is this? Okay. See, I'm going to have to move this down, but I'm going to have to work it in here. Maybe I can. Oops move this along here. I don't know, but I'm going to get it in there. 
you could put it up here, Merry Christmas, just however you want to do it. Um, once I get done, I'll be back. Oh, and let me show you how I did this on the back. I just took some of my cheap washi because I might want to reuse these lights on another project at some other point, okay? So basically, I just used some washi tape, okay, and taped it on there. Not a big deal. You know, kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but it won't be. And I am going to tape this here as well, or you could um, use your glue gun. Just be careful not to um, burn yourself or anything like that. But, um, you know, once you use your glue gun, this is kind of stuck there. So that's why I'm thinking about using um, more tape. Um, actually, I'm probably going to use some more of my pop dots for that because they're pretty darn sticky. So anyway, um, I'll be back with a finished product. And um, I hope you all like the tutorial. I mean, it's really super simple. So I will see you all in a few minutes.